find the equation of the ellipse, we're given the endpoints of the major axis and we're told the value of C, so solution. Let's draw a quick picture. You don't have to draw a picture, you can visualize it, but I like to draw a picture. So here's three, here's negative three, and this will be the endpoints of the major axis, so the major axis will be horizontal. And here are the foci, so this will be two and negative two. How do I know that? Because this is C, right, C is two. Okay, so we're going to use the formula for an ellipse with major axis horizontal. So major axis is horizontal. That means that we have x squared over a squared, right? The bigger number is under the x when the major axis is horizontal. If the major axis is vertical, then a squared is under the y term. So this is equal to 1. So here a is 3 and c is 2. So we end up with x squared, a squared is 9, plus y squared over b squared. And this is equal to 1. So now we just have to find b. So c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. The trick to remember this formula is if you have a plus here, you put a minus here. And if you have a minus here, you put a plus here. So let's see, this is 4 because 2 squared is equal to 4. Yep. And a is... 3, so a squared is 9, right? 3 squared is 9, no problem there, minus b squared. Uh, subtract the 9, so you get negative 5 equals minus b squared. That means that b squared is equal to 5. So we just plug in b squared. So x squared over 9 plus y squared over 5 equals 1, and that's it. That is the answer. I hope this helps someone out there.